What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are talking about something super exciting. At least I'm excited about it. Talking about how I lost 10 pounds in one month. Before we get into it, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit 5k and I need your help. Also, follow me on Instagram. There I post healthy intentional living tips and more about my businesses. Now, back to the video. 10 pounds in one month. Yes, super exciting. Yes, I did it. I'm gonna show you pictures, gonna show you the deets. Let's get right into it. Before we start, like I said, I'm trying to get 5K out here and I'm trying to get it before the end of the year, all right? It's October, so I need your help, all right? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything, it's free, it just helps me. So if you wanna see more videos like this about my healthy intention of living and my lifestyle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you get notified when I make new videos. So you hit this video so you can find out the deets. My birthday is actually next month, so I'm gonna go hard in the paint for October and hopefully you lose another 10 pounds in October so I can say how I lost 20 pounds in two months. Oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So so I'm going to start with basically the main thing that I've been doing or the main two things, eating right and working out. Yes, I've been doing those two things consistently for a month, patting myself on the back. I'm super proud of myself and I'm feeling good, feeling good about it. First of all, the people, people who work out, like you ask yourself, why are they so happy all the time? because they work out. But that is legit the reason. When you work out consistently, always working out every single day, feeling good, feeling great, you you just are happy. You're just a happy person. Like it just happens. And when you eat right, even if you don't work out and you eat right, happy person. Okay, so let's first, let's talk about the hardest, which I think is, I think is the hardest for everybody. It's the hardest for me for sure, is eating. So within that eating, I did start intermittent fasting. I talked about this in one of my previous videos um, after I came back from vacation, which was in August. Um, after I came back from vacation, I weighed, I weighed 201 pound, 202 pounds, or I think it's 201 pound. Yeah. 201 um that was high for me i'm a short person i'm only 5'4 um and that's high like literally the last time i was in the 200s was right after i had my daughter that was my daughter's eight so that it was eight years ago but um and since and like before i had lost 60 pounds after that after i had my daughter and all that i'll link that video on the screen up in the cards because i did do that video talk about how i lost that amount of weight but that was over a longer amount of time. Like I said, this time I did 10 pounds in one month. I'm gonna keep saying it because I'm excited about it. Um, so intermittent fasting, I started that after I came back from vacation and I weighed myself and I already knew that I had gained some weight and I just had gotten to that uncomfortable stage because I was putting on my work pants to come back to work after vacation and they were too tight, like significantly tight. Like my zipper is trying to escape tight like it was bad and I had to work like that because I didn't have any other pants um, I had to just be careful with all my movements because my button could have popped at any moment so I was like nah I gotta get my life together I started intermittent fasting my window is 12 to 8 I definitely think if you are a female you need to look into it um, I did a lot of research on females my age that have lost weight um, and not lost not just quickly but have just really like kick-started their weight loss and all of them literally if I watched 10 videos nine of them did intermittent fasting and I, I watched tons of videos like that's all I did on vacation really was watch videos about getting healthy losing weight kick-starting your your um, fitness journey kick-starting your healthy lifestyle right uh, because I really wanted to do that when I got back from vacation so that's all I did was watch those videos it's easier than what you think it is um it's hard in the beginning of course because you're not eating at certain times you're only eating at certain times so it's harder in that sense but it's easier because in the beginning if you if you have a hard day you literally just have to make it to this time and then you can eat you can eat immediately you can eat okay you can eat all right i can do a whole nother video on this on intermittent fasting itself like it's an amazing technology that your body just kind of does which is our bodies are amazing i mean shout out to god because he made us correctly because we can do things like intermittent fasting and still lose weight 
okay yes I started intermittent fasting I, I do 12 to 8 uh, every day my month was like the end of August so August 31st to September 30th that was my month right that I lost my 10 pounds um, I did it straight 12 to 8 and I also went cold turkey like I literally as soon as I went back to work after vacation I started even while working a full-time job and I usually work 8 to 4 sometimes I work 12 30 to 9 stuff like that but I did it 12 to 8 you can do it too promise you also with food I cut out drinking my calories I only drink water or if I'm craving a soda I have like those ice drinks um the brand is ice and it's like a sparkling water right and they have really good flavor like I love them um but I really cut out drinking my calories and I cut out fast food as well like no fast food nothing cut it out completely but I didn't cut out going to restaurants and that's because of another point that I'm gonna make I restricted myself to the point I restricted myself only to the point that I could handle it so I literally would have days where it's like oh my gosh like I just want to eat something good like just good that tastes good that is bad for me like I just want to eat something right now right so on those days where okay I'm like okay I'm gonna reward myself I've literally been eating clean for the past seven days okay let's go day eight I'm gonna eat something you know what I'm saying and make a plan to to cheat you know make a plan to say okay I'm gonna have these things because at least with me the type of person I am if not I'll go on a bender sugar bender done you know I've blown everything out the water and that happened to me in the middle of this month it definitely happened to me where I was like oh my gosh I just need to eat I went on a total bender almost gained two pounds struggle out of one day of eating and you also have to like that's another thing like in this journey you're gonna get to know your body you're gonna get to know what it likes what it doesn't like what works for it and what doesn't work for it and you have to pay attention Get a journal, write down what you're eating, write down how you're exercising, what you're moving, when you're eating, how you're eating, all of that stuff. Because it's important for your body and learning your body in your fitness journey. I focused on clean eating, right? So it was all about whole foods. It's all about eating, um, eating everything clean, everything that I make, meal prepping, you know. I, if I'm going out, it was had to be planned. Like I already had to know, okay, I'm going out next Thursday. So I need to be good up to that point. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to be on it. I had to be because if not, I knew I was going to trip up. I knew I was going to eat something I wasn't supposed to eat. Um, and I was going to be out here gaining two pounds in one day. So clean eating also helped me keep it simple. Like, you know, Yes, I believe in counting calories, but the main reason I believe in that is because you need to know what you're putting in your body. And if you have never counted calories, you never know. You you have never known the amount of calories you're putting in your body in one day. You don't. Like you have to count them. You have to consciously make an effort to look at them to know how many you've done in one day. Um, and that's why I am a mean, believer in counting calories. But I also believe that eventually after you've counted them, you can know. Yes, but you have to at least go through a period of life counting calories okay when doing that like it like I feel like all the other stuff it makes it so hard I need more protein I need more less fats I need more carbs stuff like that that makes it super hard right so instead of stressing myself out in this way I thought okay clean eating that's it I need to eat whole foods I need to be making my food if I want a snack I need to be making that snack you know if I want a certain something for dinner I need to be making that item from scratch like that helped me tremendously because anytime I was craving something like burgers for example always craving not always but most of the time I'm craving burgers I love me a good burger so I was making my burger myself at home so I knew what was going into that burger and I could clearly count the calories clearly know how much food I was putting in my in my stomach because I made those items I made them myself you know stuff like that now I do think that in the day and age like processed stuff is super convenient and it helps you and it can help you stay on track uh, but you you still have to limit it you still have to pay attention to it so you can continue to eat clean so you continue to make good decisions um, and it'll help it'll only help you in the end right so on to the working out portion 
Um, and I did this in a couple of different ways. For one, I, I started working out. I just jumped right into it as soon as I came back from vacation saying, okay, this is the start. This is my me hitting my start button. I'm going to work out. Um, and it was hard. So I started at night. Uh, I started working out in the evenings. Like after I got off work, I would literally come home, um, deal with my children, fix them food, fix myself food, and then work out. I was working out at like 7 o'clock at night and then not getting in bed until like 10 o'clock, sometimes 11, and then have to get up again at 6 a.m. And I'm like, you know, this is not going to work. <laughs> this is a struggle. I did that for a week and a half, maybe two weeks, where I worked out in the evening. And then I switched it to morning workouts. And when I say morning, I get up every morning at five, in between 5 and 5.10. I'm getting up. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Um, and first of all, consistency is key. I don't care what anybody says, consistency will help you reach your goals. Be consistent, it's not motivation, it is consistency, okay? So getting up every day between five and five ten made me stay on it, okay? The end, I realized it was much easier for me to get up at 5 a.m. even though it hurt like crap getting up at 5 a.m. at first. It was much easier me getting up at 5 a.m., working out, getting my workout done with before my day even started than it was getting home from work, getting getting dinner done, getting the kids situated, fixing their lunch, fixing my lunch, and then going to work out. Like, you know, it was so much easier in the evening to just say, I can't, I'm tired, I have too much to do, I'm going to bed. Versus as, okay, get up, work out first, done, get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it just clicked. It made, it made sense. Previously when I had lost weight and was losing weight consistently and getting in shape, that's what I did. I got up in the morning and now I'm back at it and I freaking love it. I love it so much. Like getting up first thing, I like literally I could work out seven days a week because it feels so good after getting up early, working out, getting it out the way. It, it just feels so much better. So now I don't work out seven days. I, I, I push it to like six, right? So like it's like three to six days. And I say three to six because when I first started, I could only do it three days consistently in the week. Like it was just hard, like trying to get into it. It is hard. Uh, but like towards the end of the month, like, and I've been consistently now doing it six days a week. So uh, it feels really good. It just, it just does. Like people work out because it feels good. People work out because it makes you feel good. Yes, you're sore yes you're tired at the end of the workout but after the fact girl you just feel good you just feel good and like who doesn't want to feel good I don't know I don't know who doesn't want to feel good because I want to feel good I want to feel good every day it is sustainable for me now you could say like six days a week every week like girl chill out right no like it's sustainable for me because of the workouts that I choose so first of all 30 minutes it really is my max when I'm working. If I'm not working, I try to push it 45 minutes, even an hour sometimes. But if I'm working, 30 minutes is usually all I can do because I have I need to have time to do other things. I have children, I'm a mom, like I need to have time to do other things, right? So that's number one thing, how I kept it sustainable is 30 minutes, I just need to make it to 30 minutes and then I'm good, right? Also, I kept it sustainable because I do, when I'm tired, I'm doing a workout that's not as strenuous is when I have a ton of energy okay so walking workouts first of all just found a love for those like literally in the past month found a love for walking workouts I am in just in love with them like they work so good they make you feel good they lean you out faster I don't know how I don't know what it is about walking but it's amazing okay um walking work workouts number one top tier okay so doing those workouts when I feel sleepy or tired or less energized that helps me stick with it that's what makes it sustainable for me because I'm choosing something that is easier in a sense but I'm still burning 250 to 300 calories in that easy workout you know on the hard days I'm wearing burning 600 calories but 200 250 300 girl that's a good snack and I'm talking about a good snack like cookies that's that's what that is and I'm doing that in 30 minutes getting it done with okay so that's how I'm keeping it sustainable for me and just my life so like I said being a mom having tons of things to do uh, trying to run a business trying to work full-time girl like you, you have to find ways to make it work for you. The last thing is remembering my goals. So this kind of comes back to tracking. This comes back to giving myself a break, comes back to clean eating and working out consistently, consistently, right? Remember my goal. My goal is to, when I get to November, when I get to my birthday, that I want to look 
like I've been working out. I want to look like have have some type of definition, you know, have some type of slimness, have some type of leanness going on in my body. Like that's my goal, right? So I gotta get there first. I have I have one month left until my 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 birthday and the time I want to spend with myself and do the things that I want to do, right? So I keep thinking about that goal. I keep going back to that. Whenever I get up at five o'clock and I'm like, dang, I'm too tired. Okay, remember you have a goal. Whenever I'm looking at dinner and I'm like, oh, I can't figure out nothing to eat. Okay, remember your goal. All right, like I just have to keep going back to it. Keep going back to it and never forgetting it. Take pictures of yourself, take your measurements, your take you can get on the scale like i found that even with myself like getting on the scale it kind of discourages me sometimes so i've been taking pictures taking videos looking at myself you know looking at the changes in my body because that keeps me encouraged that keeps me going back to working out and assessing how you feel like i said i just feel good i just feel good i feel energized and remembering that it's like okay it, this makes me get into this goal even worth it because i feel good in it you know what i'm saying like just going through it you know so if you are struggling trying to get into working out if you're struggling trying to get into your fitness journey if you want to lose weight you want to find a way that you can sustain it Think about the benefits, number one. Think about your goal, how you're gonna feel when you get there. And remember that literally, physically in your body, working out will make you happier. Remember your goal, like that's a huge thing. It's a huge thing to focus on. Like that's why you you set goals to, to try and make them, but like the, that's the what sets you apart from making them is remembering them constantly coming back to them so you can achieve that goal so you can accomplish that goal so you can move forward in what you want in your life because if you, as long as you keep coming back to it that's what's going to keep pushing you forward it's not about the motivation it's about the determination it's about the discipline to do these things super important uh, that that that's like the number one thing I have to say is just like keep coming back to it keep thinking about it keep it in the forefront of your mind keep it looking at it that you want to hit this goal you want to make this goal like I said I love lost 10 pounds in one month baby and I'm moving on to the second month and I'm looking to lose another 10 okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you stuck with me to the end if you did please leave me a comment down below and say let's get it girl let's go let's go work out let's lose another 10 pounds okay <laughs> I hope you subscribe to my channel so you can check out more of my healthy intentional living videos also I'll have a link my website linked down below I have downloads on there I have a blog on there lots of different things lots of different goodies to help you get into your healthy intentional living for planning for goal setting all the good stuff okay check out my website down below nicolecharnell.com please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye.